guys, it's been a while since I did a, just a review, so, yeah, I've been meaning to do this for the last couple of days, but I got free time now, so let's do it. The Umbrella Academy is an adaptation of the comic by the same name, written by Gerard Way, singer of My Chemical Romance. It focuses on a group of six slash seven individuals that were born under myster mysterious, maybe even miraculous circumstances where all except for apparently one has superpowers. They were adopted and they come back all together after years of being apart, after their adopted father passes away, and they have to stop the apocalypse. I really gave a simplified version of the general plot, but if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And according to some, I guess, reports, apparently a lot of you already have. Because at the time I'm recording this, apparently the Umbrella Academy is like the number one digital uh, show or something like that. And it's apparently more popular or at least more talked about than any Marvel show and any of the DC Arrowverse shows, including The Flash. So, that should give an indication of how at least mo how many people are viewing this Netflix adaptation right now. So, how good is it? Pretty damn good, actually. Yes, it is an adaptation of a comic book, so of course there are going to be superpowers and that kind of stuff. But, that's not really the main focus of this show. While superpowers and that stuff are a second main focus, the one number one main focus is the family drama and connections between all the characters. Because that's where all the more interesting, complex storylines and characteristics come from. Learning how these people interact with one another, what kind of experiences they went through, and just what their current mental and emotional states are. Even like some of the... Even the, couple of the more henchmen kind of people throughout the first season are actually generally interesting to watch and listen to. It's clear that this show is putting focus on actually creating interesting characters, story, and a world before having like these people just fight and use their powers. And actually when it comes to the climax, I'm not going to I'm going to try to not spoil it but it, you're warned. So during the climax, I'm not going to spoil what actually happens during the climax, but once you watch it through and think about what you've experienced throughout the first season, you've come to realize that while other superhero shows and movies would put the key solution on being the most powerful in the room or at least the most smartest, the real key to actually finding a way to try and win the climax at the end would be to actually not fight, to actually talk about things, to actually try and connect with the person that they are fighting. Because it's a really well thought and well laid out show, at least in this first season. I haven't actually read the comic, although I can tell that there are some more out there elements in the comic that they're most likely not going to be adapting, but I actually really enjoy this show. And while it is very sad to have all the Marvel Netflix shows cancelled, it just goes to show that we don't really need to have those Marvel Netflix shows still going, because we have a Netflix superhero show that is actually really interesting and complex and engaging. Although I still want more Daredevil and Punisher. Ah, uh, what can you do? So, yeah, this is actually a really great show. So go out and watch it on your Netflix. Or find someone who has Netflix or just pirate it. I don't know what you people do. So that's all I have to say for this show. It's really well good, the first season. And that sentence was not real good. So like, comment, subscribe, share. And I will see you guys next time.